Why don't we start uh, in the backs, bringing back uh, Richie into 10 and, and Aaron into 9. It feels like you've kind of close to back, back to your full strength back one. Well, I was certainly um, looking at the combinations we've had in the second and third bled. Um, we, we're, we're certainly going back to that. There's no doubt about that. And it's uh, um, there's a number of players have had a had a week off and 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 fresh. And there's you know uh, the whole team is pretty determined to to put a performance on that we show, show that we've grown over the last few weeks. So going to those existing combinations, I think is quite important. Bring back uh, Jack into that midfield to partner Anton as well. What do you prefer about the, the Bush, you, Leonard Brown combination in the midfield? Well, they've just they've played well together this year. And, you know, we've got a, we've got a left footer in Jack. We've got a, um, uh, you know, like he's a very calm, um, calming influence on, on our midfield. He's, and, you know, I felt the last... The tests that he's played, I think he's got better and better. I thought he was a little bit quiet in his first one, but he's he's really growing into and communicating and contributing a little bit more on, on attack. And and so him and Albie seem to go pretty well together. But it's um it's also good to be able to you know we've got Rico sitting there in the, on the bench to to inject at some point and to to I guess to work on continuing his growth in that in that position. Those um, Scott and TJ are probably the, the biggest casualties after last week. Uh, is that a direct result of their performances last week, or or more about giving up other guys' opportunities? Uh, well, Scott's. We're, we're just. He's he's had a long time out with his toe. He's come back and had two stints off the bench and and played last week. So his is purely a, a, a rotation decision, as is TJ's. You know, like TJ played a. A massive part of the game last week. He was a very sort of physical, particularly defensive game, and and so he played you know a lot of minutes, and it meant that we didn't really get a chance to to put Brad on for long. So it's it's more of a, a reward for Brad. You know, we still want to give him some time, and and so it's uh, it's actually more about Brad than it is about TJ. But overall, you know, we're we're, we're happy with where TJ's at, and he'll freshen up, and I know he'll come back with plenty of energy in the next one. Were you tempted at all to give Akira another start, given um, he only had 20 the other week through no fault of his own? Yeah, very tempted. and But again, you know, like we... Um, there, there's no hiding the fact that, that we're disappointed with how we played last week and and we, we need to come and and keep continuing some areas that, that we have done well and we kind of felt as a team that... We'd we'd go to those combinations that that worked well in Eden Park and in Sydney, and, um, and and that's probably come at a cost for for a carer. So, um, but again, I I don't keep reiterating he's he's training well. He's like a number of them that they're, they're keen for an opportunity, another opportunity, and um, and there's still something to come in a couple of weeks, and so we'll assess it then. How tempted were you to? make fewer changes because of the result last week and give some of those guys another crack, if you like. Yeah, look, it's it's always tempting. It's, uh, you know, but we've, I, I think we've had a we've had a strategy in our plan and I think we've been reasonably transparent with that, that we, you know, our number one priority w- was to, to win the Bledisloe. Our number two was to win the, the, the Tri-Nations and our number three was to, where possible, to give some... You know, to give a, a number in our squad an opportunity. So, you know, largely our, our our strategy hasn't really changed based on the result. It's um, but certainly, it's uh, you know, it, it is disappointing, and it's really important that that we we get the levels of our game back to where we felt they were, and, and we keep growing them. And you know, particularly, you know, last week we I don't think we were smart enough to. See the space that was offered and take it, and um, and so we're excited about carrying on. We, we worked hard on that this week, and and secondly, we've got to continue our growth at the breakdown. And I think it's an area that's going really well for us, both in attack and defence. We're getting quick ball, and we're actually been very threatening in terms of stealing ball at the breakdown. So I'm st- I'm really pleased with our growth there, but we want to keep doing that to ensure that we what we're doing is really cemented with this group and. And uh, so over the next two tests, I guess there's still going to be opportunities for players, but as a team, we've got to keep progressing in those zones. In uh, four tests into your tenure, did you expect to be this 
um, sure about your first choice starting team, or did you think there might, might be a few more contestable positions in, around? Oh, I think there's a number of contestable positions around, you know, like, a, but I think it's, um, you know, as a, as, as a coach and as a group of selectors, it's, um, you know, we're, 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 there's two things we're looking at is how do you keep growing your game and, and clearly having combinations and that's a part of that. And, but we also need to keep winning and grow depth. So it's, it's getting that balance, but you know, it's it's not just uh you know last the last week we had a number of players that you know we had Joe Moody who, who was out with with a, a bit of a bug we had Paddy the same so you know some of the changes have been because of illness or, or other injury and so um, but we we we're, we're really pleased with some of the competition but what it does teach you is that when you get a chance um, this All Black demands a performance you know this All Black jersey does and. And when we don't perform at the level that we expect, then we've got to go away and work twice as hard off the park as do the individuals. Just a quick word on um, Tyro Lomax, something of a, a big move, I guess. He's impressed off the bench and, and now gets a, a starting chance. And um, what's, uh, what's he done in your eyes to sort of earn that right? Oh, I, th- I think I said earlier in the week he's, he's really worked hard on his strength you know, his all body strength and his core strength, and he and we're reaping the rewards for that. And and he's working hard on, I guess, his his whole fitness side, his aerobic base, and 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 now we're starting to see a work rate around the park that's um, you know, really suited to a test level. So you know, he's made some significant shifts in those two areas, and and I and I guess with with Offer's suspension and and Nepo coming over late, this is a great opportunity for him to to go into that starting mode and really he's just got to continue to do what he's been doing off the bench and, and just, um, you know, enjoy the occasion with that, with that in mind. Just in terms of Argentina, uh, in, um, uh, we all know they haven't played a game, a test, since the um, Rugby World Cup. Um, you know, what, what's your gut feeling about what, what you see from them on Saturday? Yeah. Uh, probably the same as yours really you know like it's um I mean all, all we know is that they've they've been here for a while that so they've they've probably had something that most international teams never have which is about three weeks of really solid training and and preparation so I, I'm sure that they they you know their, their game understanding is going to be high they've had two really solid games the last two weekends over against Australia A and 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 you know immediately from from looking at them they've they've shown a lot of the shape and the flair that we've we've grown we've become accustomed to see from them so you know we're expecting a a team that's going to be very well organised I guess we've got to make sure that they they uh, take a little while to adjust to the intensity of a test match and that's something that we've got to target well early and but you know they've got a lot of season season pros in their team and so they. I'm sure they'll, they'll settle down very, very quickly, and and we've got to make sure that we, I guess, use our experience from the last few tests to to really impose ourselves on them.